do we really need a water conditioner? We used to need one because of the amounts of chlorine put in water. But do we still really need a water conditioner in order to turn tap water into aquarium water? Isn't a water conditioner a relic of the past, when we had a lot of chlorine in tap water? It smelled of chlorine. I mean, in some countries, such as the USA, tap water still smells of chlorine. But let's take Europe. Where do we really still have a lot of chlorine? Is a water conditioner necessary, or is it a waste of money? Chlorine is in fact still used today. When the water or municipal utility companies work on the pipeline system, a shock chlorination process takes place. It is indeed the case that the chlorine content can increase drastically if I change the water at precisely this moment. And if I have an automatic water change system, perhaps in a pet shop, I will have a high chlorine content in the water in my aquariums, and I will then have a huge problem. Because although chlorine is a disinfectant, that is to say, bacteria are rendered harmless and killed off, the water is turned into drinking water. That's what it's all about, after all, our drinking water. But chlorine is extremely aggressive. It attacks the sensitive gills of the fish. Chlorine, therefore, has to be removed. Chlorine is not the only problem, though, and it may therefore be the case that we perhaps need a water conditioner. In the house in which you live, there are tap water systems, and it is often the case that the pipes used are made out of metal, very rarely out of stainless steel, more likely out of copper, zinc and lead. Our water, therefore, flows through pipes made out of various metals before it comes out of the tap. And as a result, we have heavy metals in our aquarium. Heavy metals can also be poisonous to our animals. They are also not so great for humans either. Thinking of copper, copper is a real problem, not only for invertebrates, for shrimps, but also for us humans. Here is where the water conditioner takes over. The water conditioner can render precisely these heavy metals harmless by chelating them. What is this? Imagine we have a heavy metal ion, and we have a chelator. This chelator is like a suitcase, an open suitcase. It finds the heavy metal and surrounds and encloses it. This means the heavy metal has not gone, the copper has not disappeared, but it is encased like in a closed suitcase, and is therefore no longer active. It would kill no more shrimps. That is what is important. This suitcase will not be there forever. We will remove the closed full suitcase during the next water change. But then we will have new heavy metals in the water, new copper, new lead, new zinc. Then the water conditioner takes over again with the open suitcases inside and the chelators encase the heavy metal. It is therefore practically a never-ending process of new heavy metals arriving, being bound and removed again. When we do have chlorine or disinfectant in the water, there is a particular substance in the water conditioner. It is called thiosulfate. It is not important. You don't need to know this. But this substance turns the aggressive chlorine into chloride, and chloride is harmless. This is the second function of the water conditioner. Among the ingredients of the water conditioner is aloe vera. This means the water conditioner also contains ingredients that provide a second benefit. Aloe vera, as women know, and some men too, is a good skin protector. Aloe vera is a plant extract which can be poured in, and this plant extract protects the fish just like a vitamin B complex. This means the water conditioner not only turns tap water into good fish aquarium water, it also provides protection for our animals in the aquarium. It cannot really protect shrimps, because they do not have a mucous membrane. However, aloe vera and vitamin B complex are effective in the case of fish and protect the animal's mucous membrane. Now comes the question, of course, for what volume of water should the dose be? There are dosage instructions on the back of the lid. We have made a dosing lid. I find it very practical because I can decide whether I need the small or large compartment, depending on the size of the aquarium. I fill it up and can read on the side how much I have poured in. 
and can add accordingly. Now the question is, for all of the volume of water in the aquarium, or only for the volume of water that has been changed? And as I explained with the suitcases and how the water conditioner works, it is really about the fresh water. The dose of water conditioner I add is therefore always for the newly added water. The aquarium has 60 liters. I have changed one third. 20 liters have been removed. I therefore need to add water conditioner for 20 liters. It's as simple as that. I recommend investing in the water conditioner. I do exactly the same for my aquarium at home, because I always want to play safe. I would like to bind the heavy metals. I would like to be sure, if chlorine or other disinfectants are in the water, that they are bound. And I would also like to protect the mucous membranes of the animals against disease and against infection. This is why I say, for me, it is worth the money.